Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars, the Terraforming Initiative, and we're in Green Planet! In the last video, we got the water a little bit closer to 10. We're still dealing with the mirages. Research-wise, not research-wise, but scanning-wise, we're almost done. Probably going to have it done this video or next video at the absolute latest. We have a rocket here. Um, we got some colonists heading back to Earth. Um, no, wait. This one, oh, this one actually just came from the mission that um, kicked up the water by 2. And... Okay, so electronics are at 41. We have two rare metals Mars side. This one is barely doing anything. In fact, this one, I'm actually gonna forbid exports. Take that rare metal out. This one, I'm gonna allow for the moment. Oh, oh wait, what the hell? Why are all these people? Derp. All right, so yeah, we've got some people uh, unemployed right now, but they're gonna, they're gonna shuffle around. They're gonna move to other factories. We're gonna need some stuff going here. You're fully fueled and ready to go. You're fully fueled and probably going to go at some point. Um, we have a water extractor that's offline. Oh, damn. We are incredibly low on machine parts right now. And we're still... In the, somehow we are producing 12 per day, but we're also consuming a lot maintenance-wise. And as much as I'd absolutely love to go for one of these big missions, like the high-speed comm satellite, I've got the metals, I've got the fuel, I don't have the electronics. It would give me 400 research, 400 sponsor research, would be, which would be huge for us, um, research-wise, since we're here. I'm um, working on Project Phoenix right now. It's a breakthrough. Um, when a colonist dies, is a 50% chance he or she is reconstructed as a youth with the same traits. Fun stuff. Um, absolutely need to go for hygroscopic vaporators. Sterling gens I'll go ahead and unlock, just in case I want to start building them here. Mega storages. Bioscaping. Helpful. I can't queue up anything past that. Kind of sucks. Um, ooh. I'm going to queue this one up. I'm not going to queue up this one. Because that takes a bunch of electronics, in fact. Okay. This is a very, very stupid idea. I'll acknowledge it right now. I want to queue up interplanetary astronomy. Because that's going to give us... You know, once we build the blasted thing, it's going to give us a 20% boost to research. And I think, my opinion, yours is probably different, that that's the first one that you should build. Um, maybe when the mirages end, we'll, uh, get a, we'll actually get one of those researches. Uh, I saw um, Cool 18's playthrough of Green Planet. He's got it where... Um, what is going on with his? He got... What did he get? Come on, Steve, think. He got the excavator tech from it. And speaking of excavators, I'm now uh, mining some concrete out of these two deposits that are down here. Once that one's done, we have another deposit out here, another deposit over here. The mirages are over, and I haven't gotten anything with the mirages in about 15 souls now. We've had two instances of them. Oh. A colonist just snapped. Where were you working? I'm wondering if they were in here. They I'm gonna I'm gonna roll the colonists. roll the um high need back here. And I've got nine vacant jobs. I've got two unemployed folks seeking work. I I don't think um our I think he was the one who just snapped. Alright. This one is as full as we're gonna get it. So Yeah, we'll send him home. I think they'll take the Earth's colonists with them. That'll be fine. We're slowly, slowly, oh so slowly, getting there with this. Um, oh, that's actually the tech I need to queue up. Where is it? That's a good one to get. Extractors. That's the one I need. No. I don't have the power for it. Son of a bitch. Fueled extractors actually may be the play to go with here. Burning Waste Rock. We're slowly getting that going. Hmm. Granted, if I want to, I could just plop down this dome. Not this dome. But this dome, I could actually drop down scanned. Uh, in today's video, if I wanted to. Um, 
He has one drone. Odd. All right. So over here, um, do I even have a rocket at Earth? No, I don't. I have both of them here. I know those are the advanced rocketry tech. That is right. Meow. Uh, let's just actually build rockets from our side. So if I started building rockets here, it actually would increase how fast we could get things going. Um, I can afford it. Next thing I need to actually... Ooh. Oh, oh my. Hang on a minute. Okay, I can't even see how many colonists I have. Because my thinking is this. Order up some colonists. And actually start dropping down our ecologies. Because your ecologies would really just kickstart everything for us. I'm going to leave Bennu 1 here for now. I don't think there's any reason to actually have him head back to Earth. Both these are slowly putting some water in, and if we go to here, we do see that the, uh... Oh, this one's actually at 100%, so it's just taking one half water to keep it going. Over here, um... It's consuming a water, then it goes down to one half water. This one. We're so close to getting herbs. I'm looking forward to, uh, doing that. Hopefully, I don't think it's gonna be this episode, because we'll have to do something to really kick it off if we want to go that route. Hmm. That increased it by two. I'm gonna do this one, actually. I'm gonna go for the capture ice asteroids. Because if I read this right, it may cause a Mars quake, that's fine. But we'll get the water, and that's gonna kick everything up for us. Should have done that last video, actually. So we have plenty of fuel available over here. We have 16 here, 5 here. I'm trying to see if there's any place I can actually trim a drone or two from. Right there. Meteor shower incoming. Oh, crap. Okay. Okay, I have MDSs done. Thank God. Um, I'm going to drop a couple down. All right, we're going to put one here. Oh, this is an, actually a change, because usually you have to do them individually to get them to actually see what's going on here. This is going to take all my electronics, I know that. Where do I want to put this one? Okay, I gotta put it just there outside the dust range. Colonists. Okay, so what do we have for coverage? Only thing that's not being covered is this section. I think one MDS Resources out here are low. I'd be comfortable with. Yeah, like we're, we're gonna burn through all of our electronics right now. This one is operational. That's a good thing. Open up a second shift, see if uh, anybody wants to work that. Nope. Uh, we got our Martian University going right now. Slowly getting people graduating. Alright, so you were loading up. Okay, so we're taking all the machine parts that we have available. We're going to put them on Bennu. And then we'll just take a bunch of fuel. Um, oh, hey, hey. Oh, good. You have nothing to do. Come grab some fuel, please. Drop it right there, please. Let's, uh, let's move the fuel a little bit closer. And Project Phoenix is done! When a colonist dies, there's a 50% chance he or she is reconstructed as a youth with the same traits. Alright, hopefully these drones will just, like grab exactly what we need to grab. And then anything excess, it'll just get moved back to where it needs to be. Sweet! Sometimes you just have to spoon feed it. Alright, sweet, we're gonna go for some ice asteroids. Maybe. 100, there we go. So the drone that we had, uh, looks like you got reassigned over here. Excellent. Alright, so now we're producing 6 per soul. Uh, this one, 10 with a 5.3. I 
Power is Resources running okay. short. Thank you for the reminder. Um, we'll turn you off during the overnight hours. That'll actually uh, heavily reduce the fuel consumption. This is not helpful. I'm actually going to increase the uh, demand or the increase the priority for this because we need people in this building. Right. You're still not back to Earth. Hmm. Oh shit. There are Earth Did not realize we were that low on metals. Um, let's drop a. Doesn't matter. Do it. Load it up. I need to prioritize the building here. And hey, hey, I need all the machine parts that I don't have to make these. Did not realize how much trouble I was in with the metals until just now. Great. Okay, I'm hoping this meteor shower brings down some rocks. If it comes down over the colony, we're screwed. Funding received. 408, that's fine. Launch anyway. I'll go ahead and crank out an arcology in this dome. Because this dome has most of what we have, uh, well, most of what we need. Right, this guy's coming online, thank god. No, you do not need to work here. Research complete. I'm firing you guys over and over again. Alright, we got the moisture vaporator upgrade. That's good. Okay, I'm guessing because the machine parts factories don't have any stuff, like people are kind of like going to the winds, as it were. Man, you lose... You lose sight for just a moment, and all, everything just goes to hell. Alright. I think I'm maybe putting another outdoor ranch over here. But we do have our open air one that, as uh, soon as this one ends, we'll actually be able to start planting stuff and doing some outdoor farming. Super excited for that. Oh, yeah, we're going to be running into more problems. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, okay, we're having a... Uh, this is a Russia problem. We're having the exact same problem that we had during the Russia playthrough. This section's actually somewhat covered by the network. So if a meteor comes down here, then I'll be pissed. But other than that... Sector scanned. At least we're getting six out of this deposit, even though it's a very low. This is an average. All right. 100. I got an idea for something bold. Just bear with me a second as I figure it out. Got it. Come here. I want a uni depot right there. No fuel. No rare metals. No food. I want rare, actually, yeah, none of those. These guys are going to fly in, they're going to fly in materials. So this will give me 10. Drone hub takes three. All right, let's do it. And pull a couple of drones out of the main hub. And put them here. Maybe you're figuring out what I'm doing right now. I'm going to build a small mining outpost just enough to start utilizing this stuff here. This is when you want superior pipe or superior cables badly. Okay, so this guy. Shit, where am I going to put him? Perfect. Okay, got it. Drone hub. It's going to go here.
Alright, Meteor Storm's active. Perfect. Alright, where are they coming down? Alright, they're coming down up on this plateau. That's fine. Colony's still protected in case something goes wrong. Rephrase, when something goes wrong. Down here, once you get these last two machine parts, which is going to take a while to get up and running, we get the wind turbine up and, up, up and running, we get the cables down, so this will take five. Let's see. He takes five, he takes five, he takes five. So I need 13 power for this entire thing. The large turbine will give me 10, this will give me 5. There we go. This should, keyword, be enough um, to keep it going. Once this drone hub's operational, I pull these two drones back, I put them back here at the colony. Bob's your uncle, we're good. We have an arcology up and running, and wow, everybody went straight into that one. Right, we have a lot of buildings not operational. Complete. Main reasoning for that is they need to have... Uh, Metals. Incoming. Move. Thank you, Hey Hey, for doing your Hey Hey thing. At least they're bringing down metals. Okay. We're still in trouble. Forward. I can see there's a light at the end of the tunnel, and it might just might not be an oncoming train. Right. This one. 22 hours left on this. Okay, six is done. Almost there. Meteor incoming. That's fine. Yeah, so no, spread out my uh, waste rock across the landscape. Yep, yeah, still fine. All right. So I'm not producing, this is, this is the ironic thing, is I'm not producing machine parts because I don't have it. I'm, because I need the metals, and I'm going to deprioritize all of those uh, incomplete MDSs. I want to keep them operational, just in case something goes horrible, horribly wrong. Alright, I've got Moxie's malfunctioning right now. I'm actually going to upgrade the mag filtering and the hygroscopic coatings. We've got 70 polymers. It's these two. This is the machine parts and the electronics we're running low on right now. Hello, people. Welcome to Mars. Hopefully we'll get a few planetary anomalies popping up now, and that way we can uh, keep things going. So we'll get a net 12 here. New colonists have arrived. All right. Now people are going to be slowly getting sorted into houses. Not into this dome. This dome is there are this dome is full. Colonists. Uh, this dome. What do we have in this dome? 33 or 40. We got some. We got some accommodations available here. Incoming. Show me. Now we're fine. This room has plenty of living space, and we also have plenty of space for people to uh, go work and do things. What does this dome need? Relaxation. Exercise. Hmm. I can make a couple of parks in here. That'll help people out, I think. Meteor incoming. Not worried about it. Alright, we had that was our Mars Quake. Wait, I already have a space bar. I don't need another one. Relaxation. Let's put um let's put the alleys in here and see where which buildings are damaged. Alright, so Mars Quakes, um, essentially, we just, there are earthquakes on Mars. So which buildings got damaged? Show me the... Maybe? I don't know. Okay, this can work now. So we're going to do herbs, and then herbs, and then maybe potatoes. I don't know yet. You're ready to Resources come back. Are low. 
Yeah, metals are cryptically low right now. But if we can get a couple of machine parts out here and a couple and a few metals, we'll be set. Alright. This one's almost ready to go, and this one's going to actually uh, go back heavy. Oh, this guy just uh, produced food. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to run you back to Earth. We actually have a, we have a couple people unemployed right now. It's fine. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's cool to see. Sector scanned. All right. The dispute. Attention required. An argument between an engineer and a scientist has escalated and now is the talk of the entire colony. The dispute, uh, which... The dispute which profession is more vital for colonization effort has polarized the colonists into two different camps. You try to avoid being sucked into the ridiculous debate, but were ambushed by representatives of both sides on your way to lunch. With your back against the wall, they ask, quote, In your opinion, Commander, which is more critical for the colony's success, the engineer or the scientist? Alright, so... If you're not the inventor, you have to do this one. You have an option for this one. The scientist's work enables engineers to do theirs. Scientists get a morale boost. Engineers lose morale for 10 souls. If you're not a hydro engineer, you can say, the engineer puts practice, puts, the pra puts to practice the theories of the scientist. Engineers get a morale boost. Scientists lose morale. What the? This is ridiculous. Both roles are vital. Is the third option, and if you're a politician, engineers and scientists, like all others on Mars, are part of a single working system. Our role, all our roles are irreplaceable. Let's, let's actually go into here. I can do this, haha. -ha. All right, so specializations. Um, we're gonna go, how many engineers do we have on our side? And without that filter. All right, we have, looks like we have a few. Although this one is really pissed off. All right, so engineers, scientists. We, have, we don't have that many scientists. We have a renegade scientist. Hmm. All right, so morale is hmm um health sanity comfort morale i'm okay actually knocking down the scientist morale a little bit or i can just you know skirt the issue I'm wondering if, since I haven't had a, a prompt from the Mirages in so long, it's now been 20-some days, I'm starting to wonder if I've, like, broken it. Like, I can't go any further with the, with the thing. Resources are low. Yep. Alright, starting to get some cables down here, which is good. Unfortunately, water is now becoming an issue. Because my vaporators are malfunctioning, aren't they? Are they malfunctioning? Now these two have these two have gone off the line. <laughs> nice thing is I've got machine parts. It's a matter more of getting them to where they need to be. Alright, hey, hey. How you doing? Let's see, how much do we got up here? 17 there. 28 here, okay. Hmm. I'm gonna turn off the fuel refineries for now. Alright, put those guys on a high priority. I'm going to drop a uni depot over here. Merely they just need machine parts. We just need two machine parts over here. And we have 
No electronics either. Oh man, it's gonna be one of these days. Alright. The MDSs that are not complete, I'm just gonna cancel them. At this point, they're causing more harm. <laughs> And it frees up a lot of them. It frees up a lot of the metals we had left over. All right, so here we actually have a little bit of food. All right, so anything we can go do? SETI satellite? No. Import greenhouse gases? No. Capture ice asteroids? I don't have the machine parts for it. I do want to keep a rocket here just in case something is needed. 2.5 machine parts, eh? No, 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 I can't do that. Much as I want to. How's the little outpost going here? Just need a few machine parts. Electronics, polymers, metals. So close. We we're actually missing a metal for that. Alright. Water is still running at a critical deficit. Wow. Oh, shit snacks. Okay. I actually need to... Um, like, now we're going to start having starvation. Or, um... Dehydration? Alright. I gotta do that. It's the only way I'm gonna get uh, this up and running right now. Because sector scanned. We're at the point where the domes are starting to run out of water. Because I can't keep these guys operational. Alright. J8's done. Which means that's the last sector we gotta scan out. This dome is missing a lot of things. Yeah, I don't even have a medical building in here. Oh wait, yeah I do. Whoops. Hmm. This is what a mega mall would just be perfect here. Yeah. I'm gonna turn that dome off. Or turn off that ranch. It's gonna produce the water draw just a little bit longer. Come on, get here. I almost want to move him over to here. Oh, wait. I'm going to put him down here. Okay, that gives us some metal back, too. There we go. Get them where they need to be, guys. Come on. We can do it. Alright. This is operational. That's good. Nope. Alright. Once this guy goes online, one machine part short... Go get the machine part, damn it. Thank you. Alright. Perfect. So now, these two guys, if I did this right, if being the keyword here, what will end up happening is um, these two will produce about 15 power on their own. And this, this takes 5, 10, 15, 8. Shit! I can turn one off at night. It'll be fine. Okay, how are we doing on water? Okay, they're going again, but we're still running critically low. Alright, got some more money. I'm actually up for doing that. That actually makes sense to do that for me. Death storm approaching. Mother 
Okay. He's gonna head back. Alright. Research. We're still going deep water extraction because if we can get that going, um, then we've got a lot more water available to us that we can go at. Um, I'm gonna queue stuff up ahead of interplanetary astronomy. <gasps> Yay! It's a cheaper one than I thought it would be. That's gonna make things so much easier for me. Um, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that too. Let's. I want to go for the deep water mainly because I want to start putting lakes down. Damn it. Um, we've got the we've got the herbs going here. I just put a lot of herbs down just to. I know I can grow potatoes, but at the same time, this is gonna um, give us just a little bit of food. It's improving the soil quality somewhat. An average and range is that. So once we get into this area, I think it's uh, yeah, cover crops just produces tons of seeds for us, which makes things so much faster. There's that uh, deep water deposit that I'll be going for once we get this uh, research done. It's probably gonna take a couple more. Mm, probably next video we'll have that done. Ooh, looky, 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 boop, boop, boop. And this whole complex is coming online. I'm very happy about this. Okay, so this one I'm short just a little bit. So I'll do a polymer blade upgrade here and here. Sector scanned. All right. So this grid takes 18 power, but I'm producing 19. Um, I actually don't need to put a battery in here. It's absolutely fine. And then. Um, these guys will do their mining. Uh, let's put a couple big-ass waste rock sites over here. Yeah. Over here. Put some uh, big waste rock sites out there. This uh, this drone hub's probably going to be fine with five drones. Essentially one for each of them. And then if slash when these guys need maintenance, since they're out of each other's range, we should be pretty good. All right, let's bring you all the way back up to the base, just in case. And I'll put a thing there. Ah, all the things I really wanted to do this episode just got shot to hell. Uh, we do have more uh, rare metals, or metals, metals deposits over there. And I think it's going to take another episode or two before we're fully recovered from that metals problem that I created. For now, though, um, we didn't die, so I'll call that a success, I guess. Got another dust storm coming in. We're going to finish scanning up everything probably in the next episode. Maybe at the beginning of Thursday's episode. I think it'll all be done. Just checking everything here. Oh, wait. So, what's the water going on now? Yeah, I have stored water of 12 right now. So, the sooner I get the uh, evaporators, the better shape I'm going to be in. I'm going to need to put some more dumping sites out here. Too far from working, Commander. Damn it. Oh. Damn. Okay. Nope, can't do that one. Alright. So, next video, we're definitely going to address the water issue. With this extra rocket, we'll get some more passengers down here. Maybe, just maybe, um... We're going to see something with this. I'm wondering if I failed the the mystery here, though. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come out on my channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.